Today we're talking to St Albans City Manager Ian Anderson at Clarence Park where the Saints have gained a National League South draw, 1-1 with Oxford City. Oxford very much uh, form side at the moment Ian um, and they started first 20-25 minutes, looked a terrific side of thought, playing the ball round, played as a team but last 10-15 minutes they were hanging on there to get that point. Yeah I think, uh, I think we said earlier you know, they've had a tough tough month really, um, what with obviously Colts still away and then Notts County last week and obviously playing Truro on Tuesday night so it's been tough for them but I think we probably showed them a little bit too much respect early on, I felt we, we weren't at the game, we were sort of second best all over the park, we never really got to grips with their their pattern of play and uh, I felt we were a little bit lazy early on and once we sort of got to grips with them early in the second half and we started to, to press a little bit forward squeezed further up the pitch I felt in the end you know how we've not come away by taking all three points is beyond me but it's probably the story of our season at the moment with the amount of chances we've created today and you know you're a stats man David you'll probably tell me next week we've probably had at least another ten opportunities today and uh, we only ended up scoring one goal. Uh, Oxford for all their possession they didn't have a lot of chances but they had a couple of others there where they could have killed us off and the second goal we would have been struggling I think. Yeah, as I said, you, and you're dead right because we didn't start well. We started, as I say, we were on the, on the back foot, we were very flat. Every time we got the ball, everyone wanted five or six touches and took too long to get the ball forward. It took us too long to drive beyond their, their forward line and their midfield and, and, and press the back four. And every time we got it, we slowed the ball down and everyone wanted, as I say, too many touches, five or six touches. Everyone wanted to look good on the ball. And for me, it was a team of individuals in the first half where I thought the second half we'd come together as a team. And, and we really showed how good we can be at times. You know, we really pressed them high up the pitch. We squeezed in, we moved the ball quick, we got beyond their midfield very quickly. And uh, as I say, we've had five or six really good opportunities that we should, for me, score and we should go on and win the game quite comfortably. Well, one person who is amongst the goals at the moment, Sam Merson, three and three. Yeah, and he's, he's done really well because he's had a bit of a run in the side. And it was something that I decided a couple of weeks ago that... You know, we were swapping Sam and uh, and Charlie week to week, week to week, week to week. But I just felt we needed to try and settle it all down. And, and Sam's repaid the, the faith we've put in him. And uh, I say he's been unlucky on the other one. He's probably missed an easier chance when the ball, his touch was unbelievable. But I don't, don't think he realised how much time he had. And he's poked at it and he probably could have took another touch and then buried it in the bottom corner or something. But, you know, we've had enough chances today again, David. And, and uh, that's my frustrations today is that, for me, we've dropped two points again today. And... Uh, you know, the frustration is that, that, that we've done enough to win a game. The good thing about it is we've kept the, the unbeaten run going in terms of performances um, and they show great character to the players to come back from, from trailing for such a long period and still get something out of it and then nearly still win it in the last couple of minutes with Charlie's free kick where, where the keeper made a great save. There was chances in the second half. There was a couple of times you got to the byline, I think. Uh, Percy Ken, Benny had a chance to pull the ball across. Uh, Rhys Morrell Williamson. Which you've mentioned Sam. What, what, what do you think the reason for that? Is it just composure? I think you're dead right there, Neil. I think it is composure because, as I said to, to two or three of them during the game, is that just get your head up and pull the ball back because we had players on the penalty spot, players on the six yard box, and uh, there was opportunities there just to slide the ball across. I think Rhys Morel Williamson got in once and smashed it across, and I think he was hopefully he might deflect off somebody into, uh, into the goal. But as you say, we've had three or four really good opportunities in, in areas on the byline, and we've not picked out the right option. Um, and the players have done great to get there, you know, they've worked ever so hard, the, the, the pattern of play to get us in them areas has been great, and then it's the final cross, final ball, and even the final shot has been poor again. But it's, been, it's not just today, for me it's been like that all season, and, and that's why we've got to keep working with these players, we keep working on, the, on them situations in training. But trust me, if you see these boys in training, they finish unbelievable. Their finishing is, is unbelievable. They get to the byline, pull it back, and they stick the ball in the bottom corner or the top corner. And all we can do is keep working on it, and hopefully one day it will click in terms of, of the game, um, and we might be able to go and win somebody and be relaxed a little bit earlier than what we was and be quite composed because, again, you know, we've had to just chase the game and chase the game and chase the game, and I think it showed last week against Truro. When we get in front, we've got good composure, we keep the ball well, and... Uh, we could have won more comfortably at Truro last week. That drawing, I think, leaves us five points off the top of the table, uh, eighth in the table. It's not that bad a position to be in, but uh, of course we could have been even further up, really. Well, we could have been, I think this morning we were six points off the top, so we've gained a, gained a point. Um, but for me, again, that should be another two points on top of that, so we should be sitting there three points off the top of the table. But listen, we've played half the amount of games now. Um, I look back over the 21 games we've played and the amount of points that I feel we could have picked up in terms of 
not not being totally ruthless in front of goal. I think if we keep performing like we are and creating the chances like we are, then you know our season has to change around. We might have to try and bring one or two new personnel in just to just to liven the squad up and make us a little bit more robust in terms of what we're trying to do. Um, but that can only come you know when we feel it's going to be right. But five points off the top of the table, half the game's gone. I think we'd have taken that all, all, already this season in terms of where we are. There's probably a teams below us and teams a bit further down than us probably still fancy themselves of obviously getting in the playoffs. So it's a long, long, long way to go. The pitches are starting to turn now. We're lucky that the pitch here has been as good as what it's been. But you know, certainly when we went to Truro last week, it was uh, it was a lot heavier than here. And we're going to face that over the next few weeks. I know we've had a bit of a frost here this morning. So there's going to be lots of twists, lots of turns, and it's those that keep their nerve, keep their composure, and and can add one or two players to the squad going into the Christmas period because. You know, we've got a massive month coming up now with Whitehawk and then Wildstone and Hemel twice and Chelmsford. And as we've seen today and we've seen against Hungerford and we've seen against Whitehawk and we've seen against all those teams, you can't take nothing for granted in this league because every game's are like a cup final. Everybody is capable of beating everybody on the day. As you've seen today, Concord are beating Wildstone. So it's going to be a long, hard season. We've got, you know, just keep doing what we're trying to do. Keep trying to turn the wins or our games into wins and if we can pick up more points than, than our opponents, you know, we'll be there at the end of the season. If not, we'll have to look where we've gone wrong again and, and just add that little bit of difference we might need next season. Um, but as I say, we're a long, long way off at the moment. It's not even at Christmas yet, so long way to go. 21 games and uh, we've just got to keep believing in what we're doing. Well, we're 10 points behind where we were this time last season, but of course we didn't have a great second half of the season last year. You always look to get more points than you did the previous season to show you moving forward, but I guess the number of points in material, you just want the top seven finish. I think you're right, but you know I think you look at most of the teams now, and it's 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 one of them seasons this year where you look at so many teams are still involved in what's going on. So you know I think you can look down to probably 12th, 13th in terms of the amount of points teams have got. And some teams have probably got more than they got last year, and yet you know it's it's, it's a funny old season as we said there. You know we haven't got an Ebbsfleet or a Maidenhead, and even a Chelmsford to the level they was last year. And I know. Speaking with, with Rod Stringer there, he's got a few players out, so when he gets them back that might move them up the table very quickly. I mean, they're up there now, but what I'm saying is it might make them to a team that everyone will fear. But at the moment, I don't there's a team in here that anyone would fear. We've seen Hungerford have beaten Dartford today. Um, and there isn't, as I say, an episode or a maiden end who ran away with the league in the end last year. So everyone's got a chance, um, you know, and you've only got to go and put a run together. And that's why I thought the two points today would have been nine points or six points out of six in the league and obviously the victory over Paul would have been great but as I say we've got lots to play for 21 games 63 points and we've got to try and pick as many points as we can over them 21 games to try and finish in the top seven um, and, and, and keep the season going. Cup football next Saturday Ian, when we travel down to Brighton to face Whitehawk in the FA Trophy first round when we went there a few weeks ago it's just after Steve King come back as manager everybody's expecting them to kick on and they haven't as yet uh, so you'll be going there uh, looking for his win, obviously. Well, hopefully so, but I think you know you see on the day how tough that game was, and he hasn't changed the squad much from there. So I mean, I've seen they've been beaten five today by Hemel. So, um, but they won last week against um, uh, well, Chippenham. So it's going to be a tough, tough game. We know that. You know, we've got the slope to deal with. We've got the you know, if you have much rain or or frost over the next few days, you don't know what the pitch is going to be like. So we have to overcome all of that. So it's a great opportunity for us to get into the to, to the last 32. It's a great opportunity for us to leave ourselves something to go for in terms of the cup when we come into January. So as I said, you know, nothing's being taken easy at the moment. We've got a tough, tough month coming up and a tough rest of this month, tough January. And hopefully we can still be in the uh, trophy going up to, I think it's the 14th of January. Talking of Cups, midweek we went out of the Hart Senior Cup. It's a competition which supporters love to win, but we haven't made a good challenge for it for a few years. And our finishing was uh, something exceptional, in as much as uh, I don't think I've ever seen so many shots go out the ground. Well, it's, um, you shouldn't be shocked because you've probably sat here with me all season and seen how many opportunities we've had and how many chances we've, we've, we've missed. I think there was three balls went out of the ground today. Um, from shots from distance and, and obviously um, but now it's disappointing as, as I say you know we, we probably created another sort of 12 15 chances at Hartford and for me we didn't work the keeper enough you know we've missed opportunities you know we did leave six players out and bring uh, six players in that for me that needed games but you know the squad we had out there on Tuesday night should have been good enough to beat to beat Hartford and that becomes to that inconsistency that we've probably had 
even during the six games where we won at the start of the season, you know, we, we had probably two games there we against Wildstone and even Paul away where there was a little bit of inconsistency. We rode our luck against Wildstone, <coughs> but again, since then, the inconsistency has been there. So, you know, sometimes during a game, we were, at times we were unplayable, I believe, and, and then we move the ball quick and we get good areas and, and we finish teams off where sometimes we're just a little bit laid back in terms of the way we go about things and for me we didn't start on, on Tuesday at Hartford, we found ourselves 1-0 down. Then I felt we ground ourselves into the game and we were totally on top and got undone by a set piece again as we know our season's been all about set pieces but at the moment in the in the, what we've got out there at the moment it's, it's, it's been much better than what it was prior to um, Tarek Moore coming in so that's been good for that side of it. Um, but it's, it's a season you'll probably look back at and I'll probably look back at and look at how many chances have we created, how many areas have we got in and we've not finished teams off. And we spoke about it as you know, Sam's squad I think four and four now for us. So so he's now got double figures, Reese has got double figures, but you know, if they look back at the end of the season, both of them should have been a lot higher up. But as a team we should have scored a lot more goals than what we've done through, throughout the uh, amount of chances that we've created. Lovely, thanks so much Ian. Let's hope we get a few more next Saturday then when we go down to the south coast. FA Trophy, first Thank round proper. Kick-off at the enclosed ground against Whitehawk is at 3pm.